We have invaded the White Knight's Ice, already their palace, and Mela Leona's idea of strategy and power and everything that she's got with this hardcore elite team is fuck it. You do you. You just invade in the enemy stronghold, which we don't know jack shit about. Nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, Melona, you have to have quite a bit of confidence in the team that you're brewing up here because you and Silver do not give a shit about just charging in into the enemy's base and eh, they die that's their fault like don't worry about it this chapter like I'm not gonna lie <laughs> was weird as fuck but then again everyone going straight to the point invading this goddamn ass of liar and lead and seeing what's gonna happen very soon I mean, I was expecting that we at least have some training or just at least be prepared or anything. But no, they were like, "We, you guys are ready. Let's go. We need to get in here right now. Although we're having a slight issue immediately where it's like it's a powerful magic belt on the land. And it's just not something you can just step on too nearly willy. And we have to find some exact like, you know, special points in there to actually enter. And with one of the guys that they had there, uh, like one of the magicians and all that with like his rock creation, he was able to like recreate like all of like the I like the whole place around it's like a bunch of like concealed like stairways and rooms and it's like the and you gotta be worried about it because like a lot of this place has been saying like we can see where there are small levels of power and not to mention there are quite a bunch of high ass numbers in there so we need to worry about some people that are like you know top class like, on there and Funny enough is that they're not all going on their separate way, but we have got some sort of teams going on for the most part. We've got Meloleona teaming up with Asta and Zorda. They're going to be a few people. And whilst this is all tuned down as we see some weird shit where there's just a man next to like some girl that's being ripped up. He's like, you know, like, what you need to know why this is happening to you and all that. You're a citizen of the Clover Kingdom. And it's like, I'm going to be, I've been given my true name by Master Leeds. And you all like, we are special. And it's like, I can do whatever I want to scum like you. And straight from there, we, we get to see a lock just booming through the door, blasting in it. And like, just as she is telling the plan, you guys don't need one. Plow through the area, use everything at your disposal and all that. Go about it however you like. Now, as someone who is supposed to be like, you've got some strategists and some pretty smart people on here. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> For the most part. Like, honestly, I was like, really? I mean, like, you have a lot of faith in these people. I mean, not to talk, we've got all the Golden Door members, like, of, like, Yuno's team. We've got that team already in there. We've got Luck. We've got Noel. I believe we've got all of the brothers as well in there. We've got the Azure Deer Captain alongside with, like, the people that was on the team as well were there. And then, not to mention, you've got, like, three captains here. And Asta and his team as well. Like, you've got quite a hefty. So, like, a lot of people seem to be resolving around, like, either, like, four men units or maybe just going on their own. It seems like the people that are going on their own is mainly Silver, but, like, that's the only one where it's like, he must have, like, a huge amount of confidence for the most part, if anything, if he's going to be roaming around. But he's, he's got a few people on his back for the most part, like, uh, honestly. But they just, ru like, they're just rushing in, and I'm like, oh, well, that just went out all the window. Fuck strategy. And, and to be fair, he's like, He's pissed. He's not like he is absolutely blown because both Leona and him have like some stuff to sell. And he's like, I need to do this and all that for what you did to my rival and to my foolish young brother. And both of them just go charging in. And it's like, no, you know, the head of the leader is ours. Like, we're going to take this down. And the chapter literally ends with Liar already like awakening his third eye and he's just like you know looks like I've gotta go in looks like I gotta take care of this so already Liar is at this point like I need to take care of this and all that. If they want to come for, like, blasting in the gate, I'll give them something to worry. And this is the last of, like, the third eye. So we've already gone for everyone else of the team. And it's like, Liar has been the one we saw a tiny bit of. Like, when the first encounter, he had, like, a little bit showcasing all this magic. But is he really going to be at that level where he, like... He's on a level like what we saw with Vito, like, because we saw what he was capable of, like, and I'm thinking Liar's going to have to do some sneaky shit. I think on just raw physical magic, I don't think he was going to top him, because even still, I don't think any of them have really topped him, and he was the first one to go down. Even during the Witch's arc, when we had that, it was like, 
Nah, like, so I, I honestly, like, I'm interested to do that, but we've got Leona, we've got, like, Silver, we've got Asta, Zora, like, you know, Noel, we've got some strong contenders already in, like, in there, and the fact that they're all going to be doing their own thing for the most part, like, and I'm not going to lie, I did kind of enjoy just Leona just charging straight through, like, not giving a shit, same thing, like, with Nozzle, it's just like, we, we need to, we're taking care of this, and we want to go for heads, but... Or the strategy reason is like you got all these people that actually had some really unique powers. You could have done something really clever with this, or like you know had some time build up to like get some, uh, some of the characters because there's a, bottle of, a bunch of no names in the, in here as well. You could have given them some time, but we went straight into it. So it's like it's the thing where it's like Clover is such a fast paced manga compared to like the anime predecessor, where like I like I think I think the anime might help us a little bit, where it's like we would actually get a little bit more time with this. Like, maybe they will spend an entire panel like they did last week on, like, half of the episode. But regardless, I feel like it would have been nice to actually have some time a little bit dedicated more to some of the other members. But, like, Jesus, like, that was just, like, just the pacing just went from, like, a, just one mile an hour to, a, like, a 100,000 just straight in there. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> so that went quick. So I'm curious to see where the rest of this arc is going to be going. But let me know you guys in the comments section down below what you think about this. And so far, the start of this new arc already just guns blading already in the, like, the whole dungeon itself. So let me know. But that's all for me. Thank you as always for watching. And I'll see you guys, though, next time.